This is Rashid Chappelle, Project City's own. And when you want the real, you checking out Mike Powers Global. We taking it from the hood across the globe. Peace. For my real hip hop heads only, my guest today is a member of the hip hop collective of elite MCs called The Claw. As part of this crew, Rob Gates is firmly establishing himself as the human embodiment of controlled chaos. To the casual observer, the gentleman on the left side of your screen displays all the subtlety of the Tasmanian devil on steroids. But for those of us who crave 16s that challenge the prefrontal cortex, Mr. Gates continues to transform real life events into incredibly detailed and expressive street bangers. He came to make you uncomfortable. And for those of you who would default to fear, when you see him approaching, just know that your common sense has not failed you. This man is the most attention-stealing artist to emerge in hip-hop since Busta Rhymes kicked in the door with leaders of the new school. And if his latest release is any indication, then he certainly has the skill to be just as legendary. If it suddenly became cloudy where you at, it only means that something ominous that cannot be reversed is about to happen when I say that it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to, quite frankly, the most disrespectful MC to lay a verse in 2020, the most combustible force in music, and the reason we can't have nice things. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time on the Mike Power Show, a dog for which there is no lease, Rob Padico Gates is in the building. Rob Gates was popping. Appreciate you shaking, man. Appreciate that, man. You already know it, man. And I don't even mind telling the people, right before this, we had a conversation. I thought I was recording. I wasn't recording. You know how we do? We right back in it, and we're going to do this one for the people. Thank you for providing us the opportunity to sit and talk to you and learn more about you and the cloth. It's an honor to have you on the program. Thank you for showing up. You already know it, man. So yeah, let's get right back into it. Like before, we've talked about this before, but we'll talk about it again. People didn't see it. Let's check the AV jacket out real quick. I just need to check yeah. this out. Yeah, the AV got the, you know, AV Rex USA on the yes. jacket. Now, nah, man, I was going, now, nah, man, I, ain't, I, I, don't, I rarely put up pictures and shit, man, like, Riz yeah. told me I got to do all that, but I don't like doing it on the phone. I'd like, you know, official pictures. The official yeah. Post, post. Yeah, so I, I really, like, I'm not a selfie nigga at all, man. Word up. I feel you. So let's let's get right into this. Uh, everybody knows that you're part of a super group called The Cloth. Uh, do you hang with another crew outside of music? Or is it just Cloth uh, all, all the time? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm part of like you know the chalk Southside. I uh, mean, rest in peace, Gunho, my cousin. He was a real Southside head. I mean, he was trying to push our music and shit. But you know, I ran into cloth. It's, it, it, you know, it was just mutual respect. They respected what I had going on, and I went over there, you know. But I'm about the only thing that was left in my hood, as far as you know, PA Nick. Shout out PA Nick, B Goon, you know, them other names from my area. Like, know what I mean? Slay. All right. And that's people that don't spit. That's a whole different thing. Nah, nah, they spit. Okay. They okay. spit, but you know, it just fell back a little bit. Know what I mean? Gotcha. Yeah, they just, yeah. And I know it's a, it's, you know, the cloth is an incredible crew, a whole bunch of uh, high level spitters. Um, Bunch of alphas in that crew. Do y'all ever have little disputes? And if so, how do y'all handle that? Uh, yeah, I was like, I was telling you, man, like, um, the, the mixtape I just did with Big Ghost, me and Mav was disputing about the, the production and the beats and, you know, how slow they was and how, um, I needed a concept damn near for every joint because. He just said, go in. When you should say, go in, you know, I'll just run out of shit to say. I need something to talk about. Yeah. I mean, so it was it was kind of hard for me, but I got through it, man. It was, it was, you know, it was an experience for me. Now, you did say that you and Mav got into it. Yeah. And what was the problem Trust between... Me. Mav was telling you what? Focus. 
Okay. <laughs> Focus, man. Like yeah. Gage, you know what I mean? Running in and out the booth. You come in this to the studio with nothing written. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> you one of those guys. You one of those guys. <laughs> And for the studio, y'all all chipping in. Nah, nah, we got our own studio. Oh yeah, yeah. y'all doing big things, man. Y'all about to have y'all own the 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 merch shit, right? Your own production yeah. facility. Yeah, Ray's got his own gym. We got the studio. You know what I mean? And shit, man. I we don't yeah we don't pay for time. We just we on our own time when it come to that. That's, That's why I felt so comfortable. That's why you be coming through without nothing written. Oh, <laughs> right. If you was paid by the hour. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, man. I come there chill and, you know, listen, I just want to listen to Deek. I know what that's it's like. A, yeah, it's a formula way I do shit. It's kind of different. I'm going to have to bring you in the studio with me. Oh. You know what I mean, I just listen. I do a hook and then, you know, I just four ball punch it. Like and that. we're going to do that. I'm supposed to be traveling next year. So certainly I'm going to be where y'all at. And I would love to come into the studio with y'all. You know what I mean? And hang out, get some footage, see how y'all really get down, see what the methodology look like, if y'all will have me. Um, what did the finger thing mean? This thing right here, I always see y'all doing. Oh, yeah, that's that dope right there. That's that, you know, that sniff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's all. It's, it's just like something... Riggs made up as far as like, you know, the dope, the stupid. Now, I mean, you see how he got the future wave where he got this the dope needle in his arm and it's going to the headphones. Yes. I mean, we move on that. Like, you know, like we making niggas nod off. When you nod your head, that's dope. Like, that's all we want to do, man. That's some incredible artwork on there too as well. Um, So was there ever any other members of the cloth that we didn't didn't know about um, previous to y'all blowing up the way y'all are right now? Um, yeah, it's one, one he, he doing time in the feds right now. His name is S. Royalty. Y'all can catch his shit on, on, on uh, YouTube. Me and him did a few joints, but he just went in and caught a fed there. Um, but his name is S. He about the only one in the cloth, you know, that's, that niggas can vouch for. <laughs> Yeah, shout to S dot then. So when y'all go out to yeah. dinner, who leaves the smallest tip? Oh man, I like so we don't go out to dinner. Right. You know I mean? right. We don't eat none of that whole shit. <laughs> right. So that's what I was gonna ask you before. I was thinking about this like how does uh, do y'all invite Riggs to the barbecue? Because he he what is he a vegan? Um he alkaline. Okay. He, you know, yeah. He more than a vegan. He said more than a big. For real, man. Hey. I think it's some shit. Hey, yo, and shout he, to hey, man, tell Riggs, man, he's supposed to give me some recipes so I can start taking this weight off, man. I'm getting fat in quarantine. Um, <laughs> hey, so you're, you're, you're very vivid in your descriptions. Were you a writer in school? Where, where's that skill set come from? I was uh, um back in the fifth grade. I was a master of ceremony. I was a public speaker. Makes sense. I mean, shout out my uh my fifth grade teacher, Mr. Babcock. He took me under the wing. He heard my voice. I mean, he he just seen. Matter of fact, like in maybe in the fifth grade, I was in the newspaper, in the local newspaper. I mean, for um my brother ended up seeing my brother was up north, and he said the newspaper came in, and he like, oh, that's my brother right there. My mm. brother, you know, he, right. So when he seen that, he like, yo, what the fuck? You know what I mean? But that was for a speech I won. First, first place. You know See, what I mean? And yeah, and I asked I'm, that because just in case people that's watching, folks that's watching at home right now, I asked that question because it's, it's lyricists out here, it's great spitters out here, but when you get into this man's catalog, you just hear a, a certain attention to detail and the way he walks you through a particular story or, or a set of events. It's not, this guy's not just shitting bars out of his ass, like oh, there's some thinking going on. And uh, I guess that there was a skill set attached to it. So I'm, I'm happy to, 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 that you could tell the people, that you could, the people could tell their kids, yes, you could be well-written, you could be well read, and you could turn this into you know something that's got to do with creativity. So shout to you uh, for having those skills. Um, you're very aggressive in your delivery. 
Is that is that therapeutic for you to express yourself in that way, with that aggressiveness? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Because you know that take a lot. You know that take about like fifty percent off of the um strain on what's going on with me. Mm-hmm. Like you know, take about fifty percent off of it. So when I leave the booth, I'm released. Good. You know? And with with so many of y'all in that crew. Um, mad talent. Do you ever get the feeling that your individual brand could get lost in all of that? My individual brand, like what, like, like Rob so, Gates? Yeah, 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 exactly. The solo artist Rob Gates. You mean you got Mav Illinois Riggs, Times? You got nah, all these guys. right? But I was never no solo artist. Okay. From before I was doing this, I wasn't doing nothing. So Riggs brought me in. Know what I mean? So I, I'm um I'm always with the team, know what I mean? Until niggas tell me, yo, until I got enough money to really like, yo, drop something. I done drop solos already. Know what I mean? Yeah. I'm never worried about my name or you know what's going on. I'm never you know what I mean, because I am who I am. Yeah. And I'm a yeah. I respect that. Um does your crew have a Michael Jackson? That's me, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what, the fuck what I'm talking about, though. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm the MJ or the club. You know that. <laughs> That's what's up. Hey, uh, can we talk about the song Can't Sleep for a Minute? Um, first of all, you say there's a lot of shit you're working through on this song, and it's stressful just to listen to, from my standpoint. Um, how stressful was it for you to write and record Can't Sleep? Oh, man, it was stress at that time. There was a lot going on, man. And you see, I didn't finish it because I normally don't do, I normally leave something like that. That's how I just want to bring to the people why I don't finish it, because I, I'm a before I finish it, I'm going to just leave you alone. Mm. So that's how my songs, you know what I mean? Like, if it's right there and I see it, I'm not going to go back to it. Mm. I'm going to put it out. And like, but that's just how I am. I felt that it was that, that's where it needed to be. Yeah, and you I say, mean, you say take, take what you love and put it first. She did you wrong. It's hard to look at her. What does that specific line refer to and who is her? Yeah, yeah. Um, that was the situation I was going through where, uh, yeah, like, uh, you know, shit happened. Well, we, you know, we both doing shit on each other. Mm. Now, I mean, yeah, yeah, like you cheating, then you cheating, you find out she cheating on, and then it's like real life. Then, then the niggas, then you running down on niggas, and they scared. They telling you, now I mean, like. Yeah. yeah. And so that, that so song kind of came out of that. That was part of the experience that went. And that's, and that's old, but I still think about it. Yeah. So, you know, I had to get out on the, and now I'm over it now, I guess, because it's out on, it's, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I said, it's hard to look. We really don't even say we love each other no more, man. It's, it's, it's just crazy. And you're not with that person anymore, is that right? Nah, still in. And y'all still working um, through this? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, you say, I can't sleep. I need a Zanny. Yeah. <laughs> what song were you, what, what were you going through when you were writing that? Uh, I need a Zanny. And, uh, um, the drugs, man. You know, I, I used to take Xanax a lot. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm off them right now. I don't really, I don't fuck with them because I had to, I'm normally good with that. I mean, I, like I said, I leave shit. Like, but I was doing them for a, for a while, and it was helping me sleep. <laughs> now, um, man, because I yeah. couldn't sleep. So at, at the very end of the song, you say, we not scared to change. What made you say that? Because you know how they say, uh, you know, what you, you got to sacrifice what's going on. You know, like I tell my girl, I might have to leave one day. I might have to go see a producer. I might have to go see 
some dudes who offer me some money and I got to go out of state. Mm. Now I mean, I'm going to have to change everything about myself. Mm. And if you ready to change, yeah, I'm ready to change is basically what I'm saying, like, as far as that. But in the street, it could be, it could mean something else to somebody else, you know? You ready to change in another way, however you feeling you need to change. Um, the getting that the can't sleep, the getting that song out, getting it out to the world, did that help you at all mentally? Yeah, it kind of. Yeah, it showed it showed a lot of people at that time what I was doing. I was trapped in the house, you know, selling crack. Mm. That's you know, like this, and it, this is the house I lived in. My nah, man, so but you know I'm I'm so solid. My people, I don't know. You know I just do a lot of bullshit in my life, and I was just letting people know. You see, I wasn't fresh, no haircut, nothing. Like now, nah, I mean, I had like three people social security cards. I nah, mean that I was that big. <laughs> <laughs> this is before the unemployment. Anything like I had three people social security cards, and they owed me that. Like I was like twenty one hundred. That, that's how you know I just man look I make ways through this shit man hey you t something happened on social recently I think it might be Twitter um it was something with with, with Willie the Kid can you talk about the issue with, with the V-Don and Willie the Kid can you talk to me about that uh yeah shout out to Willie the Kid man and V-Don now I mean it ain't no static none of that but uh I guess Willie the Kid had put up a stat saying something about the cloth beats. And now, this was years ago, though, you know, like, but ever since then, Riggs did do a song with him. Yeah. You know, Riggs did a song with him. I don't know if this was before or after the song. You know what I mean? Because I, I smoke a lot. I'll be forgetting shit. Yeah. But things on there, I had said a few things, but then I had deleted it. I put it down. You know, but I had talked to Lil E about it. He said it wasn't nothing. You know what I mean? You he don't know why. Yeah. He okay. said he don't, why, he don't know why the nigga said that. You know, he probably don't even remember he said it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it is a done deal. But as far as v -Don, I just did a track with v -Don And um, I went out to New York. I don't, I don't know. I forgot where he located. But I went out to New York and we did a video to uh my my little single I got to the fix tape is called Harvey. Mm, great song. On, yeah, you catch that on YouTube. You know, that's me playing. I freestyled that whole shit. Drunk what? playing around. Yeah, man, like chilling. That's but we dope. said that the video, he liked it. We went and did the vid. But, you know, we ain't really get the good feedback how we was supposed to. Son ain't really put no picture up of me and him. You know how we usually do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He ain't even put the song, I guess, up in his story. Or I, I guess he put it in the story he say, but I, I don't see. I'm not even friends with him. He don't follow me. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't even know what that energy about. But we gonna keep that shit how it is, man. You know. In the long run, you know how it be. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. And shout out to those guys, you know, we always want to keep it peace. So hopefully y'all talk about that and find out what the what the little lapse of communication was about. You know what I mean? Yeah, because he act like we need that. Or he act like I don't need that. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You see Riggs do my fault. Not the no, no, go ahead. You see, you see Riggs do a lot of joints with niggas. Shout out Mook the Truth, man, who, you know what I mean, who up and coming. You know what I mean? But he do shit. He share nigga shit. He show love, you know what I mean? A lot of them niggas, they get big. I, I guess I don't know what they do. Like, they, I don't, I don't really know, you know what I mean? But I ain't friends with nobody. Mm. And that's where I'm at with it. I ain't trying to be friends with motherfuckers. Like, I got a couple cats that I'm solid with in this game. You know what I mean? Of course, niggas know it's Lord Mob. G4 Jack, that's my brother. You know what I mean? But I ain't trying to be friends with rappers. Although oh, I did say it. Rasheed Chappelle. I, did, I do want to be friends with Rasheed Chappelle. I just don't have the time. Such a great guy. Who? Rasheed Chappelle. Oh, I, yeah, I ain't familiar with him. But I just was in the studio with G4, though. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, I went down to Lil E shit. Know what I mean? One night, he was in there getting it shaking, man, for real. We wow. ain't really discussed no feature or none of that yet, because, you know, 
But I went down there another night. He was down there again. So I might run into him again, you know? Man, you and G4 Jag on a track together, my God, bro. Like... Question. Shout out to G4 and Lil E, man. Yeah. Working like... <laughs> man, them dudes don't do nothing but work. They work. They cooking up right now as we speak, as a matter of fact. Um, what was it like growing up in your home? Oh, shit. Bad, man. Mm. This little bit of interview won't even be enough to um, explain what will be going on around my hood. You know what I mean? I mean, around my family and my area. For one, my brother done did like almost 20 years of his life. He's 47. My mm. oldest brother. Shout out Esco. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's my love right there. That's like my the one I look up to. Mm. You know I mean, he's been 20 years in prison. And he, you know what I mean? At least 10, 20, you know what I mean? But he's still, he out here right now. But as far as that, it's my immediate family. My brother, he's doing five. He just did five. He's down on a uh, violation right now. He'll be home in a few days. Mm. My, my my little brother. Um, my oldest brother, my other, you know, I got, a, I got four brothers. Mm. You know what I mean? And yeah. a few more. Yeah. So I got a lot of brothers. But and... as far as growing yeah, growing up, it's, it was hard, man. It was hard, like no, no nothing. Mm. Then you can think of like roaches, roaches all on the kitchen. I'm talking about when you walk in the kitchen and you flip the light on, mm. it's roaches yeah. everywhere. I'm talking about roaches everywhere. We ain't have no socks. You walk in the bathroom, it's a pile of fucking clothes in the back of the closet, in the back of the door. Like I'm talking about shit was crazy, man. Mm. Shit was Hey, I started breaking in people's house at eleven. Mm. I mean, I did my, I, I did my first robbery at eleven. Wow. Yeah, my first robbery. Arm, at arm robbery. Arm robbery at gunpoint. Made it shiny. Yeah, and took all the food and everything. Was out of breath. I was coughing for like twenty minutes from wow. running with the food. I'm running with the food when I get to the house. I couldn't stop coughing. Cause I'm breathing in so much winter air. Yeah, that shit was crazy. And you, I'm 11 years old doing that shit. You stuck somebody up so you could eat? So I can eat the food. And we mm. got like $90 a piece. Mm. And that was just and the first one? The first one. Okay, you was 11 years old. You did your first uh, armed robbery. Once you cracked that nut open at age of 11, how many robberies did you do? At the age of 11? A lot. You man, know? I got, yeah, yeah, we started doing a lot of shit, man. My man, free my man, PG, Pistol Pack and Gabe. He had got, he caught 25, like, a few, at 16. He was 12, I was 12, he was 16. But he had caught a body on Jefferson and Bronson. Mm. He, yeah. But that's who I was doing shit with. Know what I mean, damn, eleven. I, I, cause I can't even imagine eleven year old. I guess I could, you know what I mean? If he, if he got the thing on him and he put it in my face, I guess that's a whole different situation. But I just, when I was eleven years old, I wasn't even on me. I wasn't off the porch. I ain't gonna lie, yeah, I just was you, not off the porch. You know what I did though, P? I went, I, I went and gave my mom some money. Mm. I was that young. I was that young. I went and gave my mom some money. My mom used to roll joints back then. Mm. Know what I mean, so she, feel me. I had bought like ten for fifty. I knew him. I knew my man Mello. Shout out my man Mello who got me writing. Feel me, Robert McKnight. Mm. You can look him up too. He a good nigga, man. He still rap and all that. But he um, he had back then he had weed and shit. So he gave me ten bags for fifty dollars. I went and gave my mom five bags and gave her fifty out of my money and all that. Know what I mean, and we chilled out. We cool. <laughs> So I know your father now. What kind of father is Rob Gates? Oh man, I'm a um, I'm a cool father. You know, I let my son be him. That's it. Well, man, I just let him be him, man. If he, if I get him what he want. If he like something, he really don't like nothing but games. He's smart too. You know, I keep him on the Zoom every morning, and that's it. Now this is interesting because. You did your first armed robbery at age of 11. Your boy's around that same age right now, right? Yeah, he's 11 right now. 
but he won't be yeah, obviously going out sticking no people up. You raising them completely different. Yeah, and okay. I'm, I think I thank God for that. I don't. I ain't gonna say I don't know how, but look, I just I'm I'm not on that type of time with him. Mm, yeah, be on at the time. You can tell from the pictures on IG you really love him. Like you can see it in the picture, and and you can see in the picture he love you right back. Um, it's a beautiful yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah, he asked for one of my vinyls. He got posted up on his dresser. I mean, so I signed it and shit. Oh so man, told, shit like that would have made yeah. me cry. My son ever asked me to sign something, him, I'd probably break down and cry. I mean, that's my heart. Um, on IG, one of your captions say. Lost it all just to get it back. When you talk about losing it all, what does that mean? Oh, I had got burnt. Yeah, I had got burnt. Who burned shit. you? AC. Oh. I yeah, yeah, I had got, you know, I, don't, I can't really get into it a lot. You know what I mean? But I had got burnt. My whole face got burnt. I had dreads. Yeah. No. Yeah, I had got half, like, my dreads was burnt off and shit. I was in a situation. You know what I mean? Where I had to get up out of fire. And that's all you can say about it? Did somebody try to take you out? <laughs> I, yeah, I can't really say too much about it, you know what I mean? But I had got my whole face blew off. Real me. Okay, so this is going to be weird when I transition into some of these more fun questions. Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi, man. That's what I'm like. My girl be on some coke shit. I'm Pepsi all day. I'm Pepsi. <laughs> yeah, all day. I, I, unless hey yo, if I, if I see the coke in the glass bottle, I might fuck with you. Oh yeah, them shits go hard. <laughs> yeah, they go hard. But that Pepsi, that's like a sugar bomb. You know what I mean? That should be so sweet. That Pepsi. I'm about to get some after this interview. Basketball or football? Um, I like uh basketball. PS Five or Xbox? Xbox. Word up. Yes. Y'all hear this. Y'all hear this. G4. He said Xbox. Uh, uh, D Official. Rock Marciano's DJ. Rob Gates said Xbox. Quit playing. Captain Crunch or Apple Jacks? Captain uh, Crunch. <laughs> hey, in, <laughs> in, in spades, is it, is it Joker, Joker, Deuce, or Big Joker, Little Joker? And what? Spades. You play spades? Nah, I don't really play. I'm I'm a roulette nigga, man. Russian roulette. Oh man, you really you really blowing that money, I see. I play blackjack too. 21. I play blackjack, yes. I fuck with the blackjack. Um yeah. so better year for hip hop, nineteen ninety four or twenty twenty? Nine four. Oh, okay. 94 was a better year. What What do you remember? You got any specific memories about anything that was popping off in 94? Oh, shit. In 94, yeah, I was, um, I was six years old in 94. My, uh, God bless the dead. My stepfather passed away in 94. Mm. Why? Yeah, he had a stroke on his Cadillac. Oh, Lord. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. On that time, I got some good memories with Snoop Dogg. Mm. You feel me? That, that gin and juice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, shit like that, man. I was on heavy, man, for real. That's what's up. And um, this last question, can we, can we, I never <laughs> even noticed Rob showing off the gelato. Gotta appreciate guests to help you out with the visuals, though. All now admit that there's nothing wrong with the fact that my mom went inside my first rap concert with me. Oh, nah, yeah, nah, that's good, shit. My yes. mom went to my first <laughs> Rob Gates said yeah. it's all right. Rob Gates said it's all right, so I'm good now. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, yeah. My mom came to my speech and I won. That's what's up. Did was you nervous with your mom being there? Nah, I looked in the crowd and I seen her. She was dressed nice. You know what I mean? She just had came home from the rehab and all that. You know what I mean? Oh. She, yeah, I I was man, look, and then I won too. It was crazy. Moms is like, you know, that's that's my rock. Moms is she the she the one person no matter what happened in my entire life, always down for me. You know what I mean? Never went against me. You know what I mean, um yeah. so how come I never see you in Riggs workout videos? Oh, man, because uh, I don't 
Right now, I got something going on with me. Now I'm in with my look with my kidney and shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm trying to go see what's going on with my shit right now. Now, are you I doing can... what you supposed to be doing it and and going to the doctor when you supposed to, or are you fucking around like I do? Nah, it's just probably from drinking too much. You know what I mean? And taking pills, purpose sex, and all that, man. Yeah. I was on 151 for a minute, and that stuff was tearing my insides up. I had to stop. Like, it was it was, it was, was wrecking my shit. And not drink water, right? Yeah, and I don't drink no water either. That's another thing. Um, explain this to me. The song and video for Me and Mine is M. Doc Diego featuring you. Diego. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I also, a cartoon video. Yes. Let's talk about the video first. They got you looking like a nice guy in that video, right? Uh, and dude is dancing crazy next to you. What's the idea behind that whole thing? I ain't sure. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. They ain't give me no approval or nothing that. You know what I mean? I ain't approved none of that. They just put that shit out. That shit I went... Hey yo, but listen, I'm gonna tell you, look, I have his his father is G Nice. That's this dude from my area who 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 we um we went like he like one of the first niggas we went to his studio. Mm. Uh, and, but I guess his son trying to rap now or whatever. So he got a little, know what I mean? He got a little feature with me where they paid me and shit. I went through there, I did the feature, but I guess they put a cartoon video to it. Rob, it's a good song, bro. The song is good. Dude verse was good. You murdered the motherfucker. The beat is tight. This is my opinion. I only listened to it like twice. But it's a great, to me, it's a really good song. The video is a little weird. You know what I mean? And that's, I, that's why I asked you about this, because you you got the you got the pistol, you you blicking off, and then the other dude in the cartoon is doing like a weird ass dance right next to Hey, I don't understand. I I, I, yo, I didn't even look at it. Yo, you got to I looked at like one little piece of it and was like, ah, I cut it off. Now, this is for the people at home. Y'all see the type of research I do. I know more about Rob Gates' catalog than Rob Gates, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you. And, you know, I knew it was going to come back, though. It was going to fly back. But I told him, like, no. All right, y'all got the verse. Y'all can do whatever y'all want with it. You know what I mean? Because uh, you see they had to put a cartoon joint. Like you said, the beat and they was all right. But you know, at that time, I was hungry. Yo, I did need that paper. It's a good song, but you were you you wasn't about to show up for the video. That was gonna be a whole nother bag if you had to show up on set. Exactly. <laughs> he didn't promo it. Never saw the video. I saw the video. He has not seen the video. Um, and so, do you have guilty pleasure music that nobody would believe you listen to? I listen to Lauren Hill. Um, I listen to Lauren Hill a lot. Uh, that's my baby. I love her. Is you hip to the um the MTV Unplugged album that she did? Nah, I gotta go check that. It's just you know, it's a few. Yeah, yo, I like Eric. Oh yeah, my son is big on Baidu too. Love Baidu. But um, yeah, the, the Lauren Hill joint, man, it got some songs on there. People think Lauren Hill went crazy. I think something happened inside the industry. I'm not gonna say too much about it. I ain't trying to get shot. But this whole concert, MTV Unplugged, she talking about it specifically in these fucking songs, and these are some of the best songs I've ever heard in my life. Trust me on this one. Um, do you check for up and coming producers and try to get them some shine? That's something that you do. Yeah, I like the jewels though. That's what's up. Uh, you know, I'm letting them see what it's shaking like. Yeah, I check. I, I fuck with a few niggas, man. But right now, we just focus on the club. Know what I mean? But look, we try, we're trying to come up just like they is. Do you have a rap idol or someone you looked up to when you were coming up? Yeah, DMX. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, Max. It was one of the first tapes I bought. With my mom. It's dark and hell is hot. Yeah, with the blood on them. Yeah, yeah. The blood on them. Yeah, yeah. Your verses always sound like life is on the brink of disaster. That's what all your verses sound like. It's very urgent, 
First of all, is that a zone you have to get into when you write? And also, what's going on in the crowd when you perform live like that? Oh, man, the crowd be loving it, man. Like when I when I perform Better Habit, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's like, yeah, I'm at the brink of every moment I might pull it and just like, you know, start busting and I run from the scene on foot. <laughs> 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 Oh, no. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, that's how that better have it. Have you feeling when that come on? It be lit. Like, like the hobbies. I'm ready. I can't wait to perform that shit. Cause when that shit come on, it's gonna be. Lit. Yo, I'm gonna come to y'all show, man. I gotta see this shit live. I gotta, I gotta pull up. Yeah. Okay. On the album "Rob Like Get Rob," you said on the song playlist that a nigga almost killed you on Saxton. Yeah. How, how did you survive that? Shit, man. A vest I had on. So somebody was bucking at you. Yeah, I got shot. Yeah, you got you I actually got, got hit? Yeah, I got shot in the vest. Yeah. And, and that's awesome. that's that's just something that happened. Isolated incident. Yeah. Yeah, this show the hey, I ain't never this never reported, you feel me? Oh, of course, <laughs> well, right. Right. Well we pop out like that, nigga thought he had me fine, tried to shoot me fine. I fell all that. And then I got, got up. <laughs> he shot me in his bed. Wow. Okay. And he's still walking around. Oh hell yeah. He's still out here. I ain't I don't know who he is. Oh, okay. On change, the song changed. You say your cousin Sweet never made it home. What happened? My my cousin Sweet guy got killed on June seventh, twenty twenty, twenty fifteen. Okay. Now, nah, man, and at this time, if you look back at the cloth catalog, mm -hmm. me time change. We all had did a, a show at uh at the um, California Brew House. Mm -hmm. And I came out, I did Wide Play. Mm -hmm. That's the song, got, you know, so as I'm doing Wide Play, my cousin Squeak calling me, you know, cause at this time I was selling eight balls. So, and he'd get like two, three a day. So it was like 12, at, it's like 11.50. He calling me for like two or three of them, but I'm at the show. I'm right down Lake though, you know, in the, in the hood. I can get there in about ten minutes, yeah. but I'm still got to. Yeah, I got to finish the show real quick. Then I go make my money. But in all that little time, he got killed. <sighs> okay, and of course, you you know you have my condolences. Sorry to hear that. Um, it's one of those questions that you know it's not a comfortable thing for me to ask, but you know this is some of the the most impactful stuff that you put in on wax, you know, things that happen in your personal life. So I think it does make sense in, in this context to go ahead and uh, ask you to elaborate and, and put some context on that. I do appreciate you uh, discussing that with us. You know, you can do what you want to do with it. Cause you know, it's a lot, it's more than that. You know, it's a whole bunch of shit that, um, that go, that go on around here, man. That's, you know, that, you know, shit niggas do to each other. Our niggas' friends turned on niggas. Niggas kill each other. There's a lot of shit around here, man, that we need to get the fuck. I need to get the fuck from around here. How many L's did you have to take in this business before you got to the point you are right now? Oh, man, a whole lot. Yeah. A whole lot. Like, I lost cars. I lost all my money. I lost my face. My mm. face was pink. My ears was pink. Mm. I mean, my whole lips was blew off. You know what I mean? Like, they were sore for a minute. I took the longest to hell. It was my lips. You know what I mean? But, um, man, I lost a lot, man. I lost everything, you know. Everything. I'm talking about the death. Mm. Zero. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You've been it's through a, a lot, bro. You've been through a lot. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. And my mom right now, me and my mother is beefing. You know what I mean? Because my mom's still smoking. Like I, I told y'all about that in the um in the the the, the uh the, the track I got on the fixed tape. It's called uh 
ask me why. Mm. When I said to this day, my mother's still smoking. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The link to my family tree is still broken. You mm. know what I mean? They asked me what I do. I said, I'm still coping. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I said, because my mom's still out here. She mad at me. I'm beefing with her brothers. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You beefing with her brothers because you're trying to help her out and they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, or is there something else? That... Right. right. They want her to just keep smoking in the cycle. Mm. Fucking crackhead. Yeah. I got you. Um, what you did on the song Switch is otherworldly. Song is called Switch, y'all. Like I said, it's otherworldly. I can't do it justice by trying to explain what you did right here. Uh, the energy, the timing, and not knowing what's coming next. Uh, as far as street music, in the vein of Mob Deep and the locks, how does it feel to be the guy cats listen to when they go do a lick, as you yourself reference on your album? Because you did say, now people listen to me when they go do their licks. Right. How does it feel to be that guy? Oh, man, like, it, it, it feel good to me when somebody, you know, when they post me and I see them that they riding to it. You yeah. know what I mean? Because then I really look. Right now, all, all, all I can do is assume what people do to my music. Mm-hmm. You know, but when you post it, and you be like, yo, I'm riding, you know what I mean? That's, that give me a, a better look at, like, oh, wow, he riding in my shit. You know what I mean? But I do shit to my shit. You know what I mean? Sure, look. <laughs> I yo, wait, you do stick-ups to your own? You, are you your own theme music for your own stick-up? Uh, yeah, hell yeah. Nigga, put that gate song. We about to ride. Bro. <laughs> That's crazy. I like that, though. Uh... So let's go through a few YouTube comments about the album Rob Like Get Robbed. This is real comments from YouTube on that album. Um, Somebody says, seven of us here in Fort Greene Projects and all the gods we enjoy in this peace and love family. Somebody else said, this, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call authentic street music. Another commenter said, they can have Kevin Gates. I'll take Rob. Somebody else said, Lord Gates, finally you bless us with your esoteric rhetoric. Somebody else said, ideal flow. Somebody else said, been waiting on this one. Somebody else said, one of the hardest albums out this year. Um, Privately, in your own home, how do you feel inside when you read comments like this, knowing that your art is having this kind of effect on people? Man, look, I go in the booth. I go in the booth and I act stupid. Feel me? Like, that's what I'm known to do. I go in there and that, I, and, and it get better, man, when I get in there with somebody who bigger. Like, shout out to A.R. Ab and Doug Lowe. Yeah. Now, I think, um, Lake Moss, Skinny Me, shout out all them niggas right there. Free Skinny Me, Screek, you know what I mean? But when I get around them niggas, it's more intimidation, you know? So I'm like, ah, like, they all rhyming. They don't, I can, I can never feel somebody rhyme better than me. Know what I mean, because right. I'm I, I'm splat, I, I splash all over shit. That's right. Know what I mean, so <laughs> and the, know what I mean, and I'm bringing what I know. So it's like you know, I could never lose. You know how that question is. It don't matter if you get the question right, because the know what I mean. Mm-hmm. The question is about. It's not, yeah, that's what it's about, right? <laughs> you you a scene stealer. You are a scene motherfucking stealer. That's a fact. That's a fact. Ain't nobody ever been on a track with you that I don't think that had more of an impact on that track than you did. Um, so the album art is a picture of you on a U.S. Marshals Wanted poster. Is that real? That picture? Did the nah, Marshals? Nah, nah. Okay, okay. The shit look authentic <laughs> as fuck, though. I was yeah. It look, it look, it look real. I, I appreciate who did the shit out of shit out of the mouth. Oh, that shit was dope, though. Um, can we get a movie with Rob Gates in the lead? And, and can I be the OG that's always telling you, like, he owned the corner store, and he always trying to give you good advice that you never listened to? Can I be that guy in the movie? Yeah, oh, listen, for real, we could do that. <laughs> we got to. <laughs> you know, I, I played the corner in the blizzard. You know what I mean? Yeah. We got to be, be a lot of snow and shit. 
I played the corner though, man. Know what I mean, I'm talking about shoes soggy, like yeah. for real feet cold as a bitch. Man, yeah, yeah, I can't hack it. I got, I, I, I need to get once my feet get wet, I need to get inside the crib. I need to take the boots off, put the motherfuckers right in front, put my feet right in front of the heater. Fuck that. Know what I mean? And that's why y'all is y'all, and I'm. <laughs> that's why. I'm, <laughs> right, right. This life ain't for everybody, y'all. <laughs> All my niggas who see this, they gonna know what it is, man. Shout out my nigga P Rat. Yeah. Know what I mean? Who play that block? He got a car right now, so he's sitting in his car, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but before I'm exactly. <laughs> yeah. Have you spoken to some of the legends from previous generations? Or have any of them ever reached out to you? Mm -mm. Nah, ain't nobody reached out yet. You Niggas know, are sleeping right now. My, they sleeping. Yeah, except for some Mav. You know, Mav is from my previous generation. You know, that's my cousin. That's my oldest cousin. He teach me a lot. Yeah. Now, I mean, about, you know, he come from that era when I was, like I told you, in 94, when I was six. He was 16. Or, yeah. you know, he was old. Now, I mean, so I get a lot. He was rocking 80s back then. Mm. Yeah, like, nah, I mean, shout out Mad Montana, man, for real. And on a song like Clean the Plate, the beat is so jazzy and mellow. It's somber. Uh, Riggs and Mav match the feel, but then you come through breaking shit. Um, but you somehow fit incredibly nicely into the beat. Where does the emotion that you displayed on that song come from? Talk about Clean the Plate. Yeah, yeah, I got to go listen to that too, man, when we done. But look, um, yo, that came from like this, um, look, that came from the soul, man, while I was in there. That came from the soul. It was never written. Mm. I mean, none of this stuff, nothing I did on all three albums was never written. It's all like from the soul. When I get in there and I feel, I feel it. Like right now, I would have to, before I do a show, I'm going to have to listen to every joint, though, T. Really? It's amazing fucking track. Um, did you were you ever a battle rapper? Was you ever into hip hop on that level back in the day when you was coming up or nah? Battle. Nah, nah, never. You was too busy gun button people. I mean, because like yeah. when I was battling people when I was 14, at that time, who knows what you was doing at 14? Right, yo, shout out to um B Goon. He always told me, yo, gay you would be a good battle rapper. Mm -hmm. I mean, shout out. Be going rest in peace, his son Turbo. Really, and it, it, but, is, um, is this the only thing in hip hop you ever wanted to do? Was to, to spit? Never wanted to be a DJ? Yeah, I, yeah that's all I want to do is spit and um, like look for talent. I love, I love, I like new talent. Yeah, know what I mean, Good. yeah, I like to see niggas coming up. I like to see niggas getting money in their pocket, mm. like. From nothing. Yeah, how did yeah. your voice feel after a concert? Fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and then I look, I'm telling you, I be having shit like this. Whoa. Fucked up, man. Like hey, Greg's be like, yo, gay shoot. Hey yo, I ain't even uh, I'm I'm gonna tell y'all a story real quick. One one day though, look, Greg's had put together this about like three, four years ago. He put together a little showcase with uh with K Slate. Mm. Right? So we go to the K Slay Showcase. It's me, Riggs, and Moose. So before we go, I stop. I tell them to stop at the liquor store. I got a bottle of black henny. Like <laughs> I got a bottle of black henny before we go. I pour the henny in the juice cup. I put the cup in between my nuts. Know what I mean? And you no know, <laughs> the whole bottle, I mean the whole bottle. Oh the bottle, okay. Yeah, yeah, the whole bottle with juice in between our nut and got it in. So yeah. now I don't need a drink. I don't need a drink. I'm in there just getting fucked up. So now it's my time to go on for the showcase. I'm too hit. Whoa. I got the shades on. Feel me? Like, I'm, I fuck around and forget the whole verse. <sighs> oh, my God. I That's going to be a moment down. for y'all. That's an important oh. moment. Yo, a whole L. I told you. A whole L. What did Riggs it's, say? What did Riggs say? Riggs was like, oh, Gage, man, it's all right. My son, my nigga Riggs, man, he's like, yo, because I did the hook. Me. Feel me? But then when the verse came, I just guess, because you know how we do it, though? 
it really was my fault, I ain't going to blame it on nobody. But how we do it is we don't use no vocals. We got to say what we, you know? Yeah. So we got the vocal in the back when we right. perform it. Yeah. So I'm like, oh. All I needed was a little jump start. Oh, uh, and father heard it. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the verse ain't come on and I was stuck. Boom. But what, uh, listen, what I, what I normally would have did, he told me, yo, you should have just told that nigga, run it back. Run it, run it yeah. back, yeah. And also for y'all, you know, y'all cats that's in crews out there, because I know it's 2020. I'm an older cat, but everybody is supposed to know what everybody else's lyrics is when they go on that stage. Everybody. It was those showcase. It was just me. Oh fuck. Okay, that's on you then. Yeah, it was just me on the showcase. I'm up there dolo doing three of my own songs. I did two, but then I choked on one. Okay, because I'm not going to be too hard on you because I know I'm, at some point, probably in 2021, I'm probably going to see you and I don't need, I don't need gun butt. These lips, when they, when these lips split. I, I, I lost that showcase. I lost that showcase. It's all right with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was 41, though. A shorty had one that night. Shout out to her. Do we know her name? Was? Do I know what her name is? Nah, I don't know what her name was. Nah, but she okay. had, yeah. Well, that's a, actually a great story to end on. What's coming up? What's what's next for you? Uh, what's next for you and what's next for the claw? Um, shit. Me and my son Speed. You feel me? Mm. Yeah, me and my son Speed. We got a joint coming out called Speed. Okay. When is that coming out? Now, it's it's coming out um hopefully before the a little bit after the new year, maybe before everything. We got to get the artwork done, you know what I mean? And um, we're going to do, like, the Keanu Reeves thing with the speed, with the blowing up bus and all oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, got you. Yeah, this one going to be lit right here, man. Well, that's what's up. I mean, we're looking for a prosperous uh, 2021 from um, – Rob Gates and the cloth. You see the jewels right there. Man is a monster. Go check him out on YouTube, Bandcamp, and all that. You know what I mean? And we certainly, taking the henny to the face, that's an appropriate way to end the interview. We certainly appreciate you coming through. It was an honor for me to talk to you, sir. No question. You know that, man, all the time. Look, this is what we do on the daily right here. You know what I mean? We do this, man. I'm waiting for Riggs to call me right now, man. I ain't even show y'all this big ass shit I got on the fucking passenger. You got what? <laughs> what you got? What you got? A big ass. Look, hold on. I can't even explain it. Oh no, no. <laughs> you can't show us. I'm gonna stay cool and kick. Okay. Okay. Um, that's what's up. Well, thank you for joining us, and you you have a great rest of your day. We certainly do appreciate it, Rob Gates. You already know that, G. Okay, so let's let's try to do this, this, huh? I'm not, I was going to shout out everybody, my son, Mooch. No, do Kelly. that. Yeah, Sense. Know what I mean? Shout out my son, Nick. Know what I mean? Everybody in the cloth, man. Um, you know, a nigga a little bit hit back now, but I can't remember everybody. Shout out Esco. Um, Illinois, time Lyle. change, man. Yeah, Sim. yeah. I'm talking about my niggas from the street, though, who going to see this. Got Feel you. Me? Got you. My yeah. Nigga. Well, man, yeah, shout out everybody from Plymouth Fab, my nigga Rizzy, well, man, Lionel, Guns, I uh, mean, like, well, it's a lot of my niggas. Yeah, 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 that's what, that's, do that, because we going to run it, we going to run the shout out for sure, yes. Yeah, free wild out, he will be on soon, feel me, scope it up, yeah, y'all already know, man, we running this shit out, so. <laughs> 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 like the littest interview right here though I love it